Those winds! Yo, what is up, guys? Oh, it's Nasa here, live and direct. You guys already know that stuff I always say in the beginning. Anyways, I'm bringing you guys some wonderful content from GTA 5 on the Xbox One today. We have the Lowriders update. So today I'm going to take you guys a nice uh, look inside the update, show you what they have to offer, some cool things that I like about it. I mean, some things I don't like about it, but you know, it's it's whatever. So anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get that going. First thing I always do is always like uh, always get my car from the Morris Mutual Insurance. Cause I always like have my cars destroyed, so I just get that like out the way real fast, and then that's that. Anyways, moving on to the lowriders part. There's a new app or a new thing you have to uh, I guess get on your phone. It's called Benny's Auto Garage or Benny's Original Motor Work, excuse me. And this is the place we can go to to actually get your uh, cars fixed up with the lowriders and the hydraulics, all that cool stuff. This right here is the showroom floor. They have like a couple of cars on the website they offer for you guys to check out. When to buy any of these cars you can these are the cars that's, i guess like uh low rider ready quote unquote so to speak so get any one of these cars you'd be good to go i'm gonna go ahead and get this albany uh primo right here i like this car right here it's gonna be my guinea pig vehicle i'm gonna just test everything out with right here so i'm gonna go ahead i don't really care about my paint it could be any color color i'm gonna change the, i'm gonna change the color anyway it doesn't really matter so i'm gonna put that in my new garage because on this game or with this update you can actually get up to four properties now that's actually that's another cool thing i'm gonna speak about a little bit later on um so anyways with that being said now let's wait for my car to get delivered and we're gonna go on from there and hopefully get to that garage and get this baby fixed up all right so while we're waiting i guess i'll just uh borrow a car real fast drive around and just update you guys on some more things that's uh included in the update so like I said, there's uh, new properties now. I don't know if there's new properties, but there's the option to buy a fourth property now. So if you had three and you're like me, you know, you have like a whole bunch of cars and you need space, you can go ahead and get that fourth. Yo, are you serious? All right. I don't know what this guy's problem was. I don't know what I did to him. I'm just trying to speak. He wants to just run me off the road. No, I don't play that. I'm going to shoot this guy real fast with my AP pistol. See how you like that. Actually, he's kind of far. There we go. Got you, sucker. What's up now, boy? What's up? Yep. All up in your face. I'm not done yet. Got the little salt in the wounds, man. All right. Now that I took care of the small business, let me continue back to what I was saying. So anyways, um, like I said, there's a fourth property now you can buy. So if you had, like, you know, three properties before and you had, like, you know, the 10-car garages, you can buy a fourth property. And that can... Oh, my gosh. My bad. And with that, you can... um you know increase your garage space which is a great thing for me because i can i don't know i just never have enough space it seems like well for the xbox one i guess but you know that's a whole different story all right so now we got our car delivered notification is right here they uh deliver my car and everything so go ahead and pick that bad boy up call my mechanic real fast have him deliver my vehicle to me and then we're gonna ride on over there and uh get this show on the road man get this baby uh upgraded let's we'll see what we can do all right so let's head on over there now Get to the garage and uh, let's, like I said, let's see what's happening. All right, so my mechanic finally just delivered my car. This is my baby right here. Let me hop in this joint. Well, it's not my baby because I don't know it yet, but this is the car that we're going to use. This is my guinea pig. So now we're going to ride on over to the garage to uh, get it fixed up with the low rider attachment to hook up to and all that. And let's see how that goes. All right, so now I'm just speeding on down the road there, trying to hurry up and get to this uh, place. Get this bad boy customized. I'm so excited, man. I I've been like waiting for something to come out on GTA. I'm kind of glad they put this out because. The ill-gotten gains update, it was okay, but it was just too expensive. Even though this is even more expensive, but... I mean, this is something I can, like, show off, and... You have something to show for with this type of stuff right here. So, I, I like this. Definitely a lot. I'm definitely happy with this right here. You know what I mean? So, let's hurry up and get there to the place. Get out of my way. Sorry, I'm just gonna rush. No offense. Don't take it personal. Let's hurry up and get to this garage, man, and get this bad boy upgraded. Alright, here we go. There's a mission that they want you to do, but you don't have to do the mission. Just kind of ignore it. Just drive past and go inside the garage and be good to go. Doing for you. All right, now as you can see, I finally made it inside the garage. Now uh, we can finally get the uh, show on the road and get this bad boy going. You gotta repair your vehicle, of course, if it's messed up. Now the first thing you have to do, I know this sounds crazy, is you have to buy the customized, upgradable thing. I guess like a package you gotta buy before you do anything, and it's four hundred thousand dollars. So please make sure you have money because this stuff is not cheap. Like I said, it's not cheap at all. I'm gonna go ahead and just fix my armor up. You know my brakes, all the stuff that I normally do, just get that out the way real fast. Go down to the bumpers. I'm going to select a nice bumper right here. Um, yeah, I'm going to use this one. Put this one on real quick. Um, for the rear, I guess so. Eh, it doesn't really matter. I mean, this stuff makes, you know, small differences. I'm just going to just put this on or whatever just to have it up there, I guess. Nothing really uh, special about that. All right, the chassis. 
Um, now this section right here basically is a pretty cool section because you can actually customize like you know your, your, uh, your antennas and all that. I'm gonna get the dual antennas and put that on here. I think those look really nice. Um, let's go with these. I like these curved ones right here. Looks pretty fly. Um, you can even change the wipers. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's put some different color wipers up here, I guess. We'll go with the... I'll go with the blue. Put that up there. Um, the gas tank, you can actually change that also. That's pretty freaking sweet. Um, I guess when you get your car, like, you know, like, hooked up with, hooked up with the low rider, excuse me, you can go ahead and change the color of that. So when you're bouncing your car, you can see the color. Let's go into the hood now. I'm changing my engine up a little bit. You can put different engine covers and everything. I mean, this is freaking sweet. This is like where it really like sets apart your car and make your car really stand out. I'm I'm be honest. I don't know which one to put. Let's put this one real fast to get that on there. Um, they all look pretty good though. I mean, I think any choice of uh, these engine covers would be a good choice because they all look pretty fly. All right. So moving on next, let's go to the air filters. Check out what they have to offer. Um, I mean. <laughs> This is something, you know, also I just think like it's it's cool to have, but I mean, it's not really much of a big difference out of all these, but they do look pretty cool. This turbo kit has got to come with me though. I gotta take that. Engine tunes, level four course. Um, exhaust. Let's see what we have for the exhaust. I like that one. That's pretty nice. Explosives, hex no. Why would I wanna put explosives on my low rider for? Can't even ride if I'm gonna booby trap it. That makes no type of sense. All right, the grill. Uh, I mean, I don't think the you know the highest one, highest cost one is always the best, but that's not always the case. They have some pretty nice ones that don't cost as much. I like this right here actually. This is pretty subtle, pretty cool. Let's take that one for the hood. Glass window with hood. Are you kidding me? Stock hood and removed hood, latch cover. I'm gonna go with the glass window with hood. That actually looks pretty cool. I'm gonna put that on there. Um, there's also new horns for the uh, low riders update also They have uh, they actually have it categorized I don't know when they actually did this, but if you play GTA on the Xbox 360 It's kind of just all the horns just in one uh, section They have them actually like categorized here. You have standard which have you know your stock truck cop and clown horn Then you have the musical ones and then they have the loops over here and the San Andreas loop and the Liberty City loop were actually new for the low riders update so I listen to both of them, and they're actually pretty cool. I like how they sound. Listen to them and tell me what you think. This is the uh, San Andreas loop right here, and this one right here is gonna be the Liberty City. I like that one. That one goes hard for some reason. I really like that one a lot. San Andreas loop. I don't really care for this one too much. Anyways, so um, let me hold on. Let me buy that horn. By the Liberty City. I'm spending mad money, boy. That's how it is, though, man. It's just how it is. All right, hydraulics. Now, this is a very big thing, pretty much, of course. I mean, this is what makes everything, you know, like, pretty much work right and look cool and everything. You got to spend the, the 250000 on the hydraulics. I mean, you just got to do it because if you're going to go big, I mean, if you're going to do it, you got to go big. You either go big or go home. That's my motto. I live by that. Real life and the game. Go big or go home. So, next is the trim. Um, this is pretty cool because you can actually design the interior of your car now and that that's got to be sweet Like I, I love that so much And like a lot of different cars have like different options So it's not like the same stuff for every car So the customization they're, they're really like finally like giving us those uh, those controls that we've been looking for and I'm pretty happy about that So anyways, I'm looking between these. I don't know which one I actually want to get. I think I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with this one. I know I said that you know like the expensive one isn't always the best but most cases it, it probably is to be honest but sometimes you know the cheaper options are sometimes a little bit better so anyways now this right here the trim color I mean this is for uh, I think your steering wheel and your air conditioning vents I'll just put like a this doesn't really matter much I don't think so I'll leave that the way it is I'm not gonna really do too much on that um the ornaments I like these because you can put like different funny characters or whatever things you want on your dashboard got the football players the basketball players you got the thug Got the gangsta thug right there with the freaking big lips. <laughs> the Rick Ross beard. No, not really. Almost so. Superman. I don't know who he is. The monkey guy and the Grim Reaper. I'm with the Grim Reaper. I like to be evil sometimes. I'm a joking way, of course. Dials. What is this? Okay, this is for the dashboard. See, oh my. Customization is crazy. Like, it sucks because this is only on Xbox One. 
and you know PS4 and PC they should put this on all the systems I mean it's, it's totally unfair that 360 you know gamers can't enjoy this if you have to go out and buy the new system it's just it's unfair to me I, I know it's unfair it's just my opinion I'm gonna get the burnout steering wheel you can change the steering wheel the shift lever like this is crazy like I've never seen this in the game like this is so amazing I'm, I'm so honest this is freaking sweet I had the A ball. I'm gonna put the A ball. Now I want to make it match. <laughs> grenade. Oh gosh. Well, my name is from Grenade. Short for Grenade. That's where Nade came from. So I guess I'll put the grenade for that. Anyways, plaques. Uh, little decals you can put in the car, I guess, if you want. I don't really know. I'll put this just to put something up there. Ice. What is ice? Oh, my speakers. Okay. Oh. Look at all those speakers. That's hot. Give me that. Taking that. Light color. Oh, come on. This doesn't really matter. Are they getting so down to the specifics now? This is freaking amazing. This is funny, though. I'll take that one. All right. So that's the interior. Let's do the lights now. Headlights, xenons, of course. Neon kits. Let's go to the. What up? Front, back, and sides. I don't know what color I'm going to make this. I think I'm going to make this car a lime green. So I'm gonna get a lime green neon just to just to head it off. Our right, livery. This is another cool thing. You can actually have like pre-designed, you know, like uh, well, pre-designed, I guess, designs on your car, or whatever. Pre-made designs, excuse me, on your car, and that will stay on there with the paint of your choice. Before, like when um, like I think the last update they had, they had like livery colors, but they were one color, one design, and you couldn't like customize it any type of way. Like this is actually sweet because you can put whatever design you want on there. And add your own color. Well, for this one, I'm gonna make a lime green for my base color. So I don't know which livery I want just yet. I'm gonna let me see. I like that one. Where you at? I'm gonna go with this one for now, and I'm probably gonna change it most likely. All right, respray. Let's get that lime green going on there. Oh, I don't think I have lime green unlocked for the Xbox One version. I think I have it for 360. Hopefully, I do. If not, I'll just find a different color. Okay, I do good. Oh, looking good already. I'm liking this. I'm going to keep the lime green and black, y'all. I think I'm going to stick to that theme. That looks pretty sweet. All right, secondary color. What is my secondary now? Black? Yes, black. is That's good enough. Yo, I'm loving this car already, dude. This is looking sick. All right, trim. I already did that. Keep that black, man. That's fine. Keep it sober, whatever. Oh, that's fine. Spoiler. Yo, no, no spoiler. That's not happening. No, 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 no. Tailgate. Yeah, take the badge off of that. Have them guess what I have. Don't tell them what I have. Let them guess. Ooh, the trunk again. Oh my god, twin sub with the hydraulic kit. How do you even have space for all this? Yeah, that looks sick. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. This is there's so many speakers. Like it's speaker galore right now. I like that one though. Turbo, why not? Down to five mil, and I think I gotta customize one more car, man. I think I might have to buy me a nice shark card or something, cause I need some more money. All right, the wheels. Nah, I like these. These wheels, we're not even gonna touch those. Let let's let those stay. Color. Um, I don't think I wanna. Nah, no, I'm gonna leave that the way it is too. I might go back in and change the course, but for now, tire design. I gotta have custom. No, I'm not changing that. Bulletproof, of course. See, they're all categorized now. Before, they had like all the tire options and just in one like one uh, setup screen. Now they actually have in different uh, categories. Just kind of cool in a way. Sorry if you guys hear me pressing the button on my controller. It's so freaking loud. I don't know why it's so loud. Alright, so I think that's pretty much it. Oh, you know, I gotta dark my windows up. Gotta let them limo tempt them bad boys. Alright, armor's good. All that stuff is good. I think everything is right. I mean, it's good enough for me to take it outside now and see how it looks. So, let's bring this bad boy outside. See what we got exactly on our hands here. Yes, I wanna exit, man. Let me out. Ooh, she look clean, though. She look real clean. Alright, when driving a low rider, hold A and move left on the thumbstick to activate the hydraulics. Okay, so hold A. Oh, shoot, they jumped up. See that? 
Okay. That makes it go up and down. Like, just pressing A or holding A makes it do that. Let's make it move now. Hold on. Bring it. Oh, shit. I do that. Okay, anyways. I'm getting all excited here. Oh. Oh. Okay. I get it. This joint is rocking. Oh, this is sick. This is hot. I like this. <laughs> my car is bugging out. <laughs> oh my god, let's drive like this. Anyone else see that? Probably gonna have, have like a heart attack or something. What is this guy doing? This is cool. Can I drive on just two wheels? That'd be nice if I could drive on two wheels. I would like that a lot. Yo, that is freaking funny. Oh! Whoa, what the? What? Yo, this car is bugging! Oh my gosh. Okay, I just flipped my car. <laughs> Too much hydraulics, yo. Oh my gosh. This car is a beast, though. It's still a beast. Oh, okay. Oh, calm down, horsey. Calm down. This car is tripping, yo. Hydraulics ain't no joke. This is funny, though. So that's pretty much the hydraulics. Um, you, I mean, if you guys know what hydraulics are, then this is nothing new, but it, it is nice to see it on this game, though. I think this is pretty sick. Try to make it jump again. Like I don't know how to make it jump. I'm just moving the thumbstick all directions, making the car go crazy. Like it's about to have a seizure or something. People are probably looking at me like, "Yo, what is that guy's problem?" <laughs> that is funny. I think that's funny. Oh, there goes the front now. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's a horse, yo. I'm driving a horse right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is just freaking funny. Oh, there I go again. All right, so those are the hydraulics. Oh, two wheels, two wheels. Oh no, that's not two wheels, I thought it was. Yo, this thing is sick, that's that's a lot of fun. Oh, let me park this monster, let me park this beast real quick. <laughs> Over here bugging out, having a good time with this. All right, I'm just gonna get out the car real quick. Now, another new feature with the Lowriders update, I don't know if you guys knew about, but basically, you can, um, you can, let's see, you can change the car, you can like activate the car like make it do like certain things on the remote. Where's it at? Hide options. I gotta find it real quick. Here it goes. Okay, so it goes vehicle remote functions, right? You can change the function. You can make the engine turn on by pressing that button. That's pretty sick. I mean, you gotta love that. The car goes on and off remote start. That is hot. You can make the, um, turn it back on. The headlights, you can make those turn on and off. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. You can even change the radio station when you're outside the car. And actually, actually, I like that because I like the whole idea of having the car running when you're outside the car. Because normally sometimes if you're like, if you get out the car, the car will like turn off, the lights will turn off. And we're doing car shows, it looks better. We actually have the car still running sometimes. So I'm looking forward to that, definitely. Uh, we'll be doing a lowrider car show, definitely, for the uh, the stream. Make sure you guys are following me on Twitch.tv, OS and Nate's here to check that out. I'm going to do a Saturday. Coming up this Saturday, I'm going to have like a nice lowrider uh, car show. It's gonna be real competitive. I expect you know some really uh, nice cars to be up in there. So guys, make sure you guys check that out. Definitely. I'm gonna show you one last thing really fast before I end this video. So like I said, with the remote control features, you can do more things with your car. Um, let me get back to it. So you can make um, let me see. Select which door your person is gonna open. I can make my door open. Oh wow! I didn't even know that. Okay, so the button makes me open my car doors. That's the right. Let's open all of them. Screw it. Open the hood up. Open up the hood up. Okay, that's the hood right there. As you can see basically what I have in there, all my customizations. Open the hood from the remote. I guess you can do the trunk also. That is sick. That's yeah, this is gonna make the car shows a lot of fun. Oh my god, that is so hot. You see right inside my trunk right there. So I imagine for the car show, like everyone's probably gonna like, you know, use the remote features to open their cars up and show off their stuff. This is gonna be sweet, man. I'm loving this. This low riders update. I've got to say, it's definitely a hit. It's a big success. I'm sorry for everyone on Xbox 360 who don't have this. I mean, this is this is sweet. I mean, it's I don't know. But if you have Xbox One or PS4 or, you know, PC, definitely check this out, man. If you don't want to miss it. It's a little pricey here for the stuff. I mean, it's a lot of money to spend on for, you know, the cars or the upgrades and all that. So if you have at least about a good $5 million, like me, I'm freaking broke. If you have like $5 million, yeah, definitely go ahead and just get a nice car, man, and hook it up. I mean, you'll be glad you did. I mean, this this stuff is freaking fun. It's a lot of fun with this. I'm not gonna lie. Can't wait to show this off in public in a public session and see who like tries to hate on me and kill me. I'm driving around. Oh, there goes my hood. Oh, there goes my door. Okay, maybe I should close this stuff before I drive. 
Actually, screw all that. I'm not doing that. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. So if you guys definitely enjoyed the Little Riders update, definitely go ahead and leave me a thumbs up like. I'll greatly appreciate it. If you guys want to see more GTA videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel, OSN Gaming, to get the latest content as soon as it comes out. So I thank you guys for watching. That's going to be a wrap. Take it easy. And as always, have a good day.